This week seems to be dedicated mostly to Ireland. I just finished a collaboration with one of our friends that is in Ireland, and she mentioned at least up to 15 recruitment companies or 20 recruitment companies in Ireland. And I'm going to be posting the video after this video, so you have to watch out for this video. She also mentioned that some of, his, some of her friends have gotten jobs through these recruitment companies in Ireland. So guys, you must stick around to see that way it comes but this particular video now we are going to be talking about vocational colleges in ireland and i'm going to tell you of course why i suggest vocational colleges in ireland one of the reasons is that these vocational colleges in ireland they are focused on the in-demand skills and in-demand jobs in ireland what do i mean i mean like those courses that immediately you finish you are guaranteed of getting a job because most companies almost all the companies in ireland are looking for people in that particular area so these vocational colleges are focused on that the second reason is also because they are very cheap. Uh, compared to universities like public universities in Ireland, these vocational colleges are really, really affordable. And then the third reason, of course, is that their requirements might be a little bit lesser than when you go for public universities in Ireland. And of course, they are accredited and also recognized by the university, by, by the country. And some of the course, some of the uh, certificates you will even get from UK, University of Donde, I know that some of them have collaboration with that. And some of them also have collaboration with uh, universities in Ireland. So when you graduate, you'll be getting a bachelor's from a university in Ireland. So that is why I recommend these vocational schools or vocational colleges. Then when it comes to the application process, so there, there is what we call matured students. So matured students is people that are above 23 years because most of these vocational courses are bachelor's degree. So people that are above 23 years are called matured students. And when you are applying to this, you might need to prove a little bit more. And I'm going to tell you what you need to prove. One is for you to prove that you have your high school certificate and your high school results. And two is to prove what you have been doing after your high school certificate. How can you prove this? You can prove it with all the diplomas that you've gotten throughout the years, your uh, certificate that you've gotten throughout the years, your degrees that you've gotten throughout the years, and the work experience that you also have gotten throughout the years. So that can be able to prove that you are still in that line or that you are still, you know, active and everything and you really want to get that degree. So if you are not from an English-speaking country, you might need to prove, uh, you might need to prove your English skills with an IELTS, but if you are from an English-speaking country, you might not need to prove it. But after your admission, they will then do the assessment and review and tell you if you need an IELTS or not. So that is it about mature student. But if you are 23 and below, you just need to submit your high school certificate and your, your high school degree result or your transcript. You just need to submit that. And in this video, I will also show you on my laptop the schools. I will show you how to apply. So please stick around to the end of this video. So you'll not be asking, how can I apply? How can I apply? So you just see everything by yourself. So uh, another thing that you will need to know is that there are uh, tuition fees. You might have to pay everything at once. You have to pay it everything at once. So they don't do installment, instrumental payment. But their tuition fee is also fairly affordable compared to UK and compared to the uh, compared to university in Ireland. So if you are looking forward to making Ireland, you know, your your destination, then you can consider these vocational Hi guys, schools. welcome to Next Step with Cherry. If you're my new viewer, I want to say a very big welcome. If you're my returning subscriber, thank you so much for choosing Cherry. And uh, if you think that this video is informative and educative, just give this video a thumbs up, like this video so that it can be recommended to your friends. And also recommend my channel, subscribe to my channel, and follow me on my Instagram because I really post a lot of information, scholarship available, jobs available, job links on my Instagram. And also my Telegram, and also just keep up with that. Let's go straight to what we have. Let's go to my laptop, and I'll be showing you everything in detail. Hi guys, so the first university that we are going to be seeing today is ICD business school so it is one of the accredited university that international students can apply if you don't want to go through the public universities so you know like when it comes to Ireland one of the top in demand skills is the finance area so you will see a lot of schools that are into maybe international business business finance accounting and all those stuff and one of the, this school is one of them they are accredited and they have they have connection with a lot of universities and the good thing is that they have bachelors in business studies uh, bachelors in accounting and fi finance masters in accounting and finance and also postgraduate diploma in accounting and finance services that is what they are mainly into so you can now go and see like uh, you go here to see the course and the tuition for this university is around 7500 per for the bachelor's degree per year 
okay so if you scroll down you will see they accept september entry and february entry so that means that application is going on right now for for that uh for the academic uh section so here you scroll down and read about the course and here you go for entry requirements and then you can you can read through it but basically okay this is for ma should apply directly in the college by emailing you need to email this you need to email this, uh, you need to send an email to this uh, email address for you to get access to that. And uh, if English isn't your second language, then you must provide IELTS or equivalent English language test are also considered. So here you can please email this email for you to get access to the application. So for the application here, you will need to submit your, I think this is master's, right? Yeah, master's. So you need to submit uh, you have to have primary degree at level eight in accounting. That is your bachelor's degree should be in accounting and finance or economics, mathematics or business. You can also be considered. Candidates have completed all nine papers in fundamental stage of AC, ACCA and have a primary degree. So you need to like, uh, um, or accredited prior learning, learning. So you need to have your bachelor's degree for this, for you to go for this master's. But let's check uh, for bachelor's let's check the bachelor's course that is this one i think for bachelor's course you need to have your high school certificate your high school living certificate you need to have some, um some score some type of score let's see here i click on this entry and here it says candidates with school living certificate prior to 2017 should have two c3s at honor level and four D3s at past level, including English and mathematics. So in total, you should be having four, six, six total course that you have done. So you need to have your, you need to have a pass on your English and your maths, and you can as well use your OND degree to apply. Mature students can also apply. So if you are 23 years above, you can apply, try to make sure that you put some sort of uh, work experience on your CV and if you have any document that can prove that you can as well add it So you basically need your high school certificate Make sure you have a C or a B on your English and maths and also if you ha if you have done any accounting related diploma or Certificate you can as well use it. So that is how you apply so you guys can just read through you will see that all applicants for non EU should apply directly by send an email here so you should send an email here and then you can be able to apply and also read for mature students for people that are more than 23 years and you can as well read it so that you will understand and one thing is that if you send them an email and they did not respond please try to call them i i say that i usually call them when they don't respond to my email so if i give them like three four days or one week and they don't respond i call them and i tell them that i sent an email blah 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 and this is what i want and uh you know i try to talk to them so that they can they can uh, search for that and give me a response. So here is the number you can as well try to call them when you've done your application. So now we will go, this, the tuition is 7,500 uh, euro per year for bachelor's degree. And the second year will reduce to around, I think it reduces to around, here it is. So yeah, the second year is 5,500 euro. The third year for, for bachelor's, 5,500 euro. If you are going for accounting and finance, that is just three years, but the other course is four years. So this is how it is. I'm going to keep the link on the description. Then another place is also CCT College, uh, college CCT College uh, in Dublin. So here you can as well see their courses. They have bachelor's degree in computing and IT. You see that most of these private universities, they are mainly into those courses that can get you job immediately you finish. Those are the courses that they are into. So you see that the full time for uh, for international students, that is offshore students, are 8,600 euros. So if you have that money, you can apply to this university. I think it's very much cheaper than UK and a lot of countries in Europe. So here they also have business. They have, they also have bachelor's business and 8,600 and uh, that is for bachelor's and then for for p for p uh, sorry for masters they have hnd uh in science programs hnd science program part-time and full-time 9,250 so if you have your i believe if you have your hnd you can apply for this you can apply for this program uh this hnd program if you have in the related 
stuff and here is also for masters so that session is more of a top up for you so here is also for masters masters in data analytics and you you see the amount and also uh for part-time it's only uh the people in ireland that can apply for that but international students are to apply for full-time studies so this is it and how you can apply let's see how you can apply okay we go to view courses and then we go to let's say we go to where is the bachelor's science in computing we click on that and uh i hope my internet will be faster okay and here you will see apply and then you can apply it's very easy to apply so you see apply and then you can be able to apply so what are the documents that you need let's see the entry requirements so if you scroll down you'll see the entry requirements is just the same thing you need your you need your uh, high school certificate and also your living certificate. Make sure that you have a, uh, a grade of, at least you have a good grade on your mathematics for you to be considered. And also on your English, you have a good grade on your English. And if you have any other certificates that is above, if you have work experience, you can as well, uh, you can as well use it. If you're a matured student that is you're 23 years above, you can as well provide some you know, maybe work experiences, certificates, or any any other diploma degree that you have, diploma certificate that you have, any online certificate that you have, you can as well upload it. Just put everything in one PDF and also attach it during your application. And we go for the tuition and it's the same thing, let's see, and it's the same thing that we saw, it will lead us to that page that we opened earlier. So with that, we go to the third school, so I hope you guys are following. So this third school is uh, is a little bit different. So you know, like if you want to go for nursing in, in Ireland, like I said earlier, you need to maybe top up the degree or you need to read, you need to study maybe one year or two years for you to be registered or something. So this particular school is more of topping up. So uh, they have nursing, they have bachelor's degree in nursing. But the thing that I don't understand is that uh, they are, it's, I think it's only for registered nurses. If you're already registered in your home country, then you can be able to apply. So we go to the international so that we see what they, what they have to say about international students. So I scroll down and here I will see international programs. So I will see the, the, the programs that international students can apply. So when I scroll down, you will see bachelors of science in nursing, international nursing. So I click on that and then we will see what it says because I am, I think a lot of us are more, are very interested in this. So innovate top up academic course aimed at overseas registered nurses who have attained a diploma in nursing and would like to now advance to degree level. This one year academic honors degree program is commensurate uh, with level six. So it's a one year course and it is for those that want to now be, be a registered nurse in Ireland. So it is for those that want to be a, a registered nurse in Ireland. And here are the requirements. Completed application form, which include your personal statement and meet a minimum requirement, recognized diploma in nursing, uh, registered nurse in country of origin, uh, original academic document and exper experiential record to support application. Medical insurance will be required upon successful applicants. So here is a one year, one year course that you can use to top up your stuff. So here you send an email to, please send an email to this email and tell them that you are interested in applying to this course, the name of this course. You are a registered nurse in your home country. You can attach your degree, your degree certificate, your diploma certificate to a registration, your nursing license, as well as uh, uh, your CV, any other thing, your, your reference letters and everything that you think can help you, can help them to know you more. So you send an email to them. And if you wait and you don't get any response, like I said, you can as well try to find their number. I think this is their number and you can also try to give them a call. So this 00, zero put a plus here. So it will be plus 353 and then you put the rest of the number. Please try to give them a call to attend to you. Tell them that you sent an email to them and you are yet to get a response. So that is it for registered notes. So let's check another one. Uh, they have they have bachelors in nutrition, food and business. Let's check if it's a top up course because I think this university is more like a top up stuff. So I go down here and uh, okay, I think it might be just for you to apply. Like uh, it lets me see how many years. 
for the widest program program fee uh, program outline let's see in in year one i think everyone can apply to this because it did not specify like uh, the nursing program specified so it did not specify so let's see find out more okay for finding out more you can send an email to the uh, admission office and here is also their number here is the number you can as well call them to get all the information you need and then the program fee so here for the program fee of uh, non-EU is 17,950 euro per annum. So that is it for them. And uh, for the nursing, I think the nursing would also be the one year top up for nursing for you to now be registered and then you can work in Ireland as a registered nurse. I think it will be somewhere the same amount, I guess. So uh, you can just check that out. Let's see if it is the same amount and uh i scroll down program fee oh it's very it's even cheaper it's 11,950 so applicants may qualify for non-eu merit scholarship so they can even remove 1,500 euro from you from yours so you need your cv your ilts certificate your personal statement and uh, expression of interest accepted by completing our online form so you need to complete this online form and then okay Okay, when you complete the online form and then you send the, the whole document, that is your application form, your CV, your IELTS, and your personal statement to that email mentioned, uh, the email mentioned earlier. Let's see it again. Okay, you just click on find out more and uh, yeah, this email. You can send to this email or you can send to this email or you can call the number. So you you send your CV, your personal statement, your IELTS and the completed online form. You send it here. If you're a registered nurse and you want to be registered in Ireland and work in Ireland. So with that, we go to the next one. So this one is really, really cheap. It's one of the cheapest I have seen, I guess. It's so cheap, but the courses they have are limited. So they have basically, this is the bachelor's degree that they have, bachelor's in counseling and psychotherapy. I think they are still, that they are accepting application, we will see. So let's just open one and see. And uh, by the side, you will see apply now, right? So it is very easy to apply. And uh, we scroll down, let's see if we can find guys look at this it is 3825 per year so what are you still waiting for what are you still waiting for and the, okay the start date is september 2022 so that means i want to believe that they are not accepting for january intake so it will be september intake but guys what are you waiting for i think this is a very good it's very cheap and it's a very good course uh it's psychology related and here uh, for non-native speakers, you have to score C. That is, you have to have a C on your on your high school certificate, or you can use your, your IELTS. So what you need to provide is also the same thing. You provide your high school certificate. You also provide your high school living certificate. That is your WAYEK and your high school living certificate. We call it testimonial in Nigeria. And if you have any other document, just gather all those documents and provide that. So for mature students, for people that are over 23 years, you will have to undergo an interview. So I would also advise you to read through all the courses that you want to apply to. Make sure you read through it so that when they ask you why you want to go for this course, why you want to go for that course, you will already know why you want to go for that. And uh, you can apply. Let's see. I want to know if... Uh, okay let's go back they have pretty much a lot of course okay let's see the fee we have seen the fee and it's three thousand something let's see for okay for international students fee fee for international students are currently under review so when they when they get the fee they will post it for the next academic section but it's usually the three thousand something the only thing is that you need to pay everything at once so probably they will you see the fee for the program is three thousand eight hundred and so 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 and the international student must pay their fee in full upon acceptance so that is it and uh let's see so we go back here and uh, we will see. I think if they if they begin to receive a lot of application, they might probably incre increase it. So we see other courses. Please make sure that the courses you are applying to is this BA counseling and psychotherapy. That's uh, this one with addiction studies and also BA in counseling uh, psychotherapy with youth study. If you apply for the certificate in cultural competence, you will not get visa. So that is it. You will not get visa. 
then you go down again they have other ba this this certificate you cannot get visa if you apply to that so guys be very careful and then you also see they have masters so they have masters in ad adolescence uh, studies and childhood studies let's see it and see uh, what it costs so for your masters you need to provide your bachelor's degree relating to the course and you also need to provide all the other documents okay you will see bursary reduction full-time one year cost six thousand three hundred to three thousand one hundred part time two years okay tuition reduced six thousand uh, i don't really understand it but let's see let's see the fees here okay the tuition the tuition for non for uh the tuition for non-eu is 7200 is 7200 euro this is payable in full on acceptance of offer so i believe because for the non-eu is 6200 and the eu is 7200 so that means that that bachelor's might be somewhere between 4000 something euro since it's just 1000 something uh difference so i think it's still cheap so if you if you have a certificate or if you have a degree in this area you can try to apply so let's see their entry requirements uh, they did not specify those who have completed a knowledge a successful completion level now with normal requirement okay for this particular school i don't you can i think if you have hnd in this area please try to apply with your hnd and your nd your ond so if you have national diploma and higher national diploma you can try to apply because i've seen that a lot of schools offer hnd courses like they have hnd uh hnd higher national diploma courses so that means that they they accept higher national diploma so you guys can just try to apply there is no application fee they can only reject or accept so you can just try to apply if you have it remember that you need to or you go to this recogn recognized prior learning to see the certificates that they they need so you can as well use your ond and your hnd to apply so uh, submit your transcripts and everything they said uh, level 22 award so you need to have at least 22 or even if you don't have just try to apply they can only they can only reject or accept so you have to apply for one uh, for one full year if you are an international student and also because the the part time is for non eu so uh let's see and here we have another university independent college dublin and here they also have bachelors in business studies bachelors in accounting and finance bachelors in marketing and masters in dispute resolution so let's see so you guys you're seeing that the courses they usually have are those in-demand courses right so those courses so these one are currently on they are currently on and they are rolling now the, uh, for february 2023 and uh, let's see the fee as i as we usually see so non-eu is 6800 euro and you have to pay everything at once so you click here to apply now and it's very easy to apply but make sure you check the entry requirements so where english is not the applicant mother tongue so since english is a mother tongue for people in nigeria i want to believe so you can as well supply that also supply uh, copy of transcript or result from previous business courses if you have and also completion of independent that is you have to complete the online form and your international passport and your uh, any previous academic qualification and copy of English certificate you can use Duolingo you can use you can use your certificate from school so if you have an OND in business you can use that OND to apply for this if you have HND you just want to go for another business you can use it to apply if you have any previous if you have any previous uh, study you can use the transcript to apply even if it's a diploma you can as well use it to apply so they have three courses available so guys with that we come to the end of this video i'm going to keep the link all the links on the description so that you guys can apply 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 and then we wait for the good news ireland visa is very very easy to get it's very very easy to get uh with when you get your admission and you pay your tuition it's very easy to get and you'll be getting like i said six to two years uh 
stay back visa that is your post study visa and also some of these schools have collaboration with companies so you can get internship opportunities and work opportunities when you do the right course and most of them offers the right course so it is now left for you guys to set these universities and know the one that you want to go to so if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and also share with your friends and uh take care guys bye